Got some more SDP ethanol fuel stabilizer. About to throw that in the truck right now. Oh yeah! The Buick exploded on the middle of the road everywhere. Then we get to the truck. Factory, factory. Oh, no! There we go. All right, yeah, one more clamp to get on here. One's giving me trouble. Finally! Uh, 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 mm, mm. Grasp it, grasp it, grasp it. Oh, yeah. Figure out how to do this. Oh, uh. the old st switcheroo, switcheroo. That's it. I'm turning this car around. No! Yeah. All right, it's gonna take a... Alright, yeah, new hose is in. That ain't going anywhere right there. And I sell the old one to you. It's a little taped up there, but it should be good for a truck. Yeah, there we go. Probably gonna run it and then uh, pour some more coolant in it whenever it needs it. But I mean, it's not gonna need a coolant flush for 300,000. So yeah, we're good. Screw out this V10 engine. I mean, it's it's fast. So I gotta always just keep it clean. Keep always keep your stuff clean, clean the tools off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Diesel engine, do not use starting fluid. Immediate engine damage can result. Do not apply more than nominal 12 volts to electrical system during charging or jump starting. Failure to glow plug starting system can this result. Section, this subsection is where I read that from. Yeah, don't need that anymore. To help avoid personal injury and emergency, turn ignition off, cut all positive cables connected at yellow tape. All in a day's work. Just collected all this. It looks like there was actually Mountain Dew in there. Well, down the hatch. All makes, all models, mixes with any color. Here's the thumbnail right there. Thumbnail. And guys, I just chiseled this off the truck. Won't be needing this plastic badge anymore. cleaner look, you know? Don't we all? Also just painted all the chrome ends to my sunglasses gloss black. Well, once again we find ourselves off-roading. Oh man, whoa, hey! Yep, nothing like off-roading the Silverado once again. About to gas it up. Oh, well, there goes traction control once again. So yeah, we're out here, I don't even, I have no idea where this is. I don't even know if it might be a cliff right in front of so me. So we made it to some kind of forest. I don't know what it is, but I'm also sure that there's probably billions of ticks in there crawling on my truck right now. Oops. Yeah, I'm out of here. It's too many ticks. guys so we're out here middle of nowhere once again new place actually just this is the first time i'm exploring this place but it looks pretty cool up here and there's actually it goes on for a long time but it's all this thick grass so i'm thinking once all this this will probably be the new go-to spot to work on the truck and do mods and stuff yeah there she is i left those running lights on because it kind of looks cool but yeah this is the place to be man i always i always see uh, a lot of other creators driving to different places usually just back behind parking lots even neighborhoods or something but this is the place to be what i wanted to talk about today is the two extra things that i did to the truck so yeah two different modifications paint involving that we did to the truck to really match it up and really finish things. two things involving this truck that we got to was one on the front and then a second thing we finally actually got to an interior mod that doesn't have to do with seat covers so yeah two great things on the truck if you can guess them let me know but yeah, it really tied things together. I installed one thing yesterday. The other thing was been probably done for like a week, but I don't know if you noticed it or not. And I wanted to put this in a new video because the whole the whole modifying the truck, pulling the bumper and everything else, it's just gonna be a long video, which I haven't even edited yet. 
but I know it's gonna be long and especially with all the bugs and everything man it makes it harder but yeah so let's uh, take a look at that I'll bring you guys up close to the truck it's gonna be something to look at here in a second so the first thing on the truck of the second round is the antenna and as you can see it's fully painted up now the uh, antenna has a bracket on the underneath not a bracket but like an adapter little adapters for each different make and model of a vehicle and there's like four different kinds for I guess all the makes and this truck makes this uh, little black one which is like a it's a metal adapter but then it has like a black paint black finish around it so that adapter is also painted and then the entire antenna has also been professionally painted to match the color of the truck now you may be saying aren't you going a little overboard the answer is no because I, this truck has been sitting outside I used to have an older one that was just like that and it would fade out into an ugly gray and man I would hate the ugly gray it would just be so mm, I just hate whenever the all the plastics are fading out on this truck we have a lot to take care of when it comes to actually deleting some stuff on this truck as well, so tune in for that. But anyways, yeah, that's the first thing I wanted to get to this truck. And man, I've been rolling around with just the little, literally the broken adapter, because that's where my first antenna broke at. And the reception has been so bad for FM radio. I could only get one station, basically one station. But hey, we rolled with it for a while, and now we got a nice new antenna on there. So yeah, now let's get to the second thing, and I'll bring you guys up closer to that. Let's walk on up. Man, I just cannot get over how the bottom piece of that being paint matched ties everything together on the front end of this truck it just brings out the the whole geometry of it just all the little lines and grooves that you never see when it was a textured black you can actually now see it and honestly they should have made the trucks like this from factory but they didn't so the second thing is on the inside of the truck we got uh, I need some light on this there, if that helps. We got a blacked out bow tie. Now, before you say anything, this was a homemade job by me, yours truly. Yeah, that's right, guys. I actually, um, I because I got some touch-up paint from the body shop, paint color and gloss black, I know I figured we got, we got something in the interior that doesn't match anything else on the inside, and painting that full thing gloss black, which was actually like a golden yellow, and then had like a chrome on the outside, I painted the full thing gold and chrome to a gloss black right there. And I took a very fine brush that I got from my local arts and craft store. With of course you gotta get that wooden handle on it, no plastic. And I took and I just really, really slid. Now I was actually really bad in elementary school with art. I was never good at it. I could never have that very fine line, especially when I'm especially drinking caffeine and all those energy drinks. We got that painted up with just just really working it. At first I tried to use a big brush which failed. Remove that, and then I took the fine brush, and then we got that painted up. So it's not perfect, but it looks a lot better than that gold finish, the gold chrome finish that it was before. And this, I know you can get those little vinyl wraps, but I wanted to go something classic and that with a full paint, and then we go. That's it. <laughs> Does this truck look nice and there we go those are the two extra things i'm going to probably make this a short video because there's not really much to it it's also getting dark but i wanted to show this in like a separate video because they're kind of two big things that are going to be well just permanent options and I, I, I just feel like that bottom bumper piece was such a big deal to me and i hope to you guys as well that it deserved its own video in itself and how much time and, and effort it takes to really get to just that one piece because you have to pull the end caps, pull the two bumper pieces apart. And there's also other little pieces that come up. So someone in the design team at GM made the great decision to start offering trucks with the sport package and a full full paint match front end. And of course, it didn't come in my year. Otherwise, I probably would have bought one like that. I don't even think they made it for the 14, 15 year. Maybe they did, maybe they started doing it then. I'm not really sure, I can't really remember, but I know in the 16s and up, they definitely do do that now. And man, does it look great. And they, I'm pretty sure they probably offer the bow ties on the inside and outside in black as well. So you don't have to do that aftermarket. 
So you may be saying, why don't you just uh, trade this one up? But I mean, this truck means so much to me and I also don't want all those electronics and all the extra stuff that comes in the brand new trucks that are really making them not really trucks anymore. They're kind of looking like cars. I mean, just look at the brand new Silverado, for instance. This is my first truck. I'm keeping it forever and I figure, you know, it's going to be cheaper for me to just paint match the front end, do what I need to do aftermarket wise, opposed to just buying an entirely new truck that I that does not meet, in my opinion, the standards that I need with this truck right here. I do want to get a, an antique truck eventually on the channel because that'd be cool because I just don't, I'm just not a fan of where trucks are going with all the technology, autonomous features, the, all the communications, all the electronics. It just ruins the, it interferes with FM radio for one. For two, it takes a lot more power. And for any of that stuff to break, I mean, it's very expensive. For, for an example, the, the new key fobs, the push the star key fobs that they have on these Silverados now, it's about $300 because they have to, well, the, the key fob is pretty cheap, but then for them to reprogram it, and the GM costs and everything, it's pretty expensive. Electromagnetic interference, the radiation, and just the extra power usage is not really worth it. It's things that people don't think about, but they should, and they should and I do. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video out here. I can actually just talk really loudly because we're out here in the woods. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. Now we got to get out of here because it's pretty dang, pretty dang uh, getting dark, and it's pretty dang out here in nowhere, middle of nowhere. going on.